Hey guys, welcome to the Awakening 115. <laughs> Today we're going to celebrate imperfections and God knows I've got loads of them. We all have them. And when you're on camera all the time, mm, it shows you, doesn't it? Every spot, every tooth. Uh, I've had an exciting experience with teeth. They're falling out. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. The teeth are falling out. And um, so what's your imperfections today? Do you feel too fat? Do you feel too thin? Do you feel too, I don't know, do you have lines? Do you have wrinkles? Your eyes, one eye is bigger than the other, okay? Talk about ego here. <laughs> this is what the ego does. Oh, I'm too poor. Um, I don't have enough. Um, nobody loves me. Um, this side of the hair is longer than that. Look, 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 look. Um, can you see greys? Mm. Oh, oh my God, I forgot bags under. This eye is smaller than this eye. Can you see? Yeah, this eye is smaller than this eye. Oh, do I have any spots? Do I have any liver spots? Oh, I've got calcium bits on my teeth. Look, look, look. And God knows what's going on down there. And I will show you because I've lost so many teeth through this lockdown. Um, and I'm looking into it, but the med beds are coming. So no doubt I'll be able to grow them back. So what is your imperfection today? Okay, who has made you feel less than? Hey, eh? look at my hands. Okay, I have one finger here that was caught in a swing when I was seven years old both fingers here that um, no one knows except me, but I look at them and I see they're different. Um, I have a scar, a big scar from a vaccination that they did on me. There it is. Look at it. They did, a, they did two vaccinations on me as a kid. You can just about see it here. I want you to see it. I want you to see the imperfections. When I smile, one side of my face goes down as it's a mirror. My singing teacher pointed that out. I can't breathe properly from my left lung. And as this is back to front, my left lung, because I was in a, a shed with gas when I trained in the Israeli army. Let me see. I have a temper to die for that people run and hide away from. Um, this fringe is not straight. Let's fix it. Mm. Ooh, that hair is longer than that one. That one isn't as long. If I do that, ooh, not sure. Imperfections, because you're never going to be perfect. Never, never. Only God is perfect. And get used to it. As I say, one, if you're looking at this, let's see, what else is imperfect? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's a mess. Oh, I'm not wearing it inside out. No, inside out. So the zip is on the inside. Now, some people won't be able to cope with this. When I was in the therapeutic community, they used to point it out to me all together. Look at the lines on that neck. Mm, and my mother, oh, my mother. I remember once when my tights were torn, I had a ladder. Oh, she gave me a field day about that. Mm, and is my lipstick all, yep, yeah, bit of lipstick there. Mm, my nose, shall I fix my nose? Shall I lift this? If I lift this, will I look 20 years younger or will I look like a squirrel? I look like a squirrel. So there you go, you know, um, everything. What is wrong with your body? The body that you carry around. What do you think is wrong with it? Because that's what you have been brought up to believe. You've been brought up to believe that you're too tall, too short. When I used to go to auditions, you're too young. You're not young enough. You're too young. You're not dark enough. You're too white. Shall we change? some of the tones in this video. I can do that. I can change the tones to make me look, um, let me see. Let me see, today, as I say, if you don't like this, tough, it's all about imperfections. Okay, let's put a, a thing in the background. Oh, look at that, can you see me? Or is a bit missing? Now, whoever focuses on their own imperfections will focus on mine, okay, because if they cannot see, what I mean, their focus, I mean subconsciously, everything they do is because they feel. 
there's something wrong with them because someone has brought them up to believe that it's wrong to have one side of the hair longer than the other, that it's wrong to have a wrinkle, that it's wrong to have, oh, look, I've got yellow and green teeth, look, bits of, um, that it's wrong to not have any teeth, that it's wrong to be too tall, too short, too fat, too skinny, um, to have a temper, to not have a temper. It's not wrong, it just is. It just is, and it's part of your ascension, okay? Um, I'm going to go on here and try different uh, backgrounds just for fun today. <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm just trying to explain to you that you who finds imperfection in everything that you are and everything that you do, let's go to the beach together. You who finds imperfections in everything will find imperfection in the most beautiful beach on the world. You will find imperfection. If you could see those wrinkles and bags like I can, <laughs> if you could see that my teeth are falling out, if you can see as I'm talking that my teeth are falling out, if you can see everything that's wrong in me, that means you're seeing it in yourself. And I'm trying to show you this. I'm trying to show you what the ego does. So shall we stay on the beach? On the beach. Now, I woke up today, I didn't want to get up. Didn't want to get up, couldn't face the imperfection of life. I couldn't face the imperfection of my life. I couldn't face the imperfection of the world. I couldn't face the fact that I had to get up and I'm on my own and um, just couldn't face it. So I did a codependency meeting online. There's loads of them. You can do loads of them. Admit that you can face the day and hand it over to your higher power. End of. There's loads. You can do them day and night. They're free. Okay, if you want more information, codependency is all about not being able to live on your own and be happy. <laughs> it's been... It's relying on other people for your happiness and for your strength. Having people live in your head. They've literally taken a renting out my head you know what I mean some people are renting out my head at the moment and they're not paying me anything so I've had enough of it so I'm handing it over to my higher power who or what is living in your head forcing you to feel like I can't take anything I can't take it anymore all I think about is this person all I think is that person all I think about this and that and I couldn't face it this and that and that and this and this and oh my god goes on and on and on and on and on, can't eat, don't have any appetite, feeling depressed, feeling low, knowing that uh, the husband's with his family and they're having a birthday today and it's uh, my father-in-law's birthday and they'll all be there, uh, the husband, sister, brother, brother-in-law, mom, dad, whoever, and I'm not there because of social distancing madness, okay? I'm not even invited because of social distancing madness. So, Shall I focus on that or shall I get on here and show you that no matter what, you can get up and face the day. So I've done a codependency, um, done my first one. I'm going to drink gallons of water, remember? Two bottles a day. If not, my healing mentors and spirits will kill me, literally. So this is going to be quick. Okay. And then I've got to go on the coaching call at four o'clock. I'm doing everything possible to help me accept these imperfections and move on into ascension. And that's it. And then I did this amazing app someone sent me called Envision. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's like um, a vision board app. And you close your eyes and you see your dream. Now, my dream is, I've put it on the internet, it's called the Miracle Community. Hang on, coming at the door. All right, that was someone at the door. So, anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> let's see. Does she look better with glasses? Does she look better without glasses? Oh.
for God's sake, guys, start accepting yourself with all your flaws. There are people that don't have arms and legs. And anyway, I went back to that. So I was saying about the dream. My dream is on there. And it's called a miracle retreat, a miracle commune. Or, but what I'm saying is um, this app lets you close your eyes and vision. You can actually see it. You see the people that are with you. You can create it on a daily basis. It's called Envision. I would recommend it. It's free. I think it's free. Well, it's free at the moment. And you can create your dream as you go along. Right, let's take the beach off now as it's imperfect. <laughs> it's imperfect. And I'm going to go back to none. There we go. Okay. So today... I want you to, so the dream is there and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to focus on what you want. And again, that's another imperfection that Lauren has. I'm always focusing on what I don't want and what I don't have. And all those people that are living in my head at the moment, rent free. Okay, get out, get out of my head, get out of my heart, get out of my head, rent free. <laughs> Um, I love you always will, but I need to get on with my own life. I need to get on with my own life and find my dream. And a lot of these people, their dream is similar. And maybe at some point we'll come together with our, and realize that. But at this moment, I'm on my own. And sorry, I jumped because I had to go and uh, open the door for someone. Let me focus. So what I'm saying is get that app in vision and create your dream on a daily basis. But today, I, I'm... Someone said to me, why are you doing the awakening at the moment? You're not getting that many views, yada, yada. I thought, I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for me. And that one or two or 10 people that watch it, or 20, whatever, for you. Because it helps you to see someone that goes through so much, and you know what I go through. This body and this mind that will never stop. And I still get out there. And I, um, today, it's just, as I say, um, I didn't go to bed till about 3 a.m. because I was doing a codependency. And I fell asleep in the middle, which is amazing for me as I meditated, which is one of the parts of, of the program, the 12 Steps program. And I was meditating. I fell asleep. And then I didn't wake up till nearly 2 p.m. And, I, did, and I couldn't face the day. So I got on another code online, which is amazing. And uh, people, you meet new friends, you, you can help each other, but you can feel connected. And I don't know about you, one of the things I miss more than anything is that I don't have that opportunity to sit with my tribe and meditate and dance and sing. And I can't do that at the moment. Um, that's life. But, you know, because I've been given this job to do now to learn how to be on my own. And to learn how to get really, really strong for what's coming. This is what I've been told by my spiritual mentors and my guides and everyone who loves me and has put me in this situation to be on my own. All the tough love I've been given hurts the ego like mad. But I'm here to watch me on the awakening tonight and see me glowing in spite of it. Talking about my imperfections your imperfections and if you see this as ego me being ego well then that's your imperfection that you cannot see beyond what i really am trying to do here i'm trying to watch me coming out of this in order to stay strong in order to heal humanity i, I felt that like because whenever i feel anything i know it's the truth and tonight, there's going to be light act, uh, Acturian uh, light activations. Go on the meetup. There's loads of great stuff. Free courses, free counseling, free online meditations, free 12-step programs. All free, guys. And if you have the money and you're lucky, get into a tribe. Sit and meditate and dance and sing. Go to the places that are offering you this. And barter as well, if you can. Anyway, that's my dream. It's a collective. It's a collective place where we can live together, not together together. I have my own home. You have your own home. 
but it's kind of like a village or a community. And we have responsibility, a bit like a kibbutz. <laughs> we have responsibility for each other. And if ever, again, this, they try to do this to us again, we put up our signs and say, you're not coming in. You're not locking us down and we sing and we dance and we have our own laws and our own rules and everything, everything, everything according to love, compassion. We do what we want. We celebrate I got life every single day. We have meditations and singing and dancing. We have a theater. We have a TV station. A bit like your own country, for God's sake. We have our own country, but we have our own homes. We have a community space. We have food we share if we want to. We grow things together. If money is still around, then we earn money from selling the products. People come in and they use the space and they give us rent. And you can have massages every day. Uh, you have different massage rooms, different chakras. It, 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 it's a place where everything is all together for all of you. And if you don't have money, you barter. And you, that's your home. And you lie down and you look at the stars every night and you thank God for sending you here from that star that you came from. And I know that quite a few of you have got the same dream. So bring it together. Create it. And with this Envision app, you can do it. And if we're on the same wavelength and we want the same dream, regardless of our personalities and our egos, let's do it. Because next time they set off a lockdown, that lot do whatever they want to do if they're still here. We don't give a shit. We have our own country. And you have the power to do it, Lauren. You have the power to do it. Every single person that may be watching this, you have the power to create the life you want without relying on Trump and leaders and anybody. You are here as a messenger from either an Ecturian, a Lumierian, I'm a Lumierian, oh, I don't know what difference does it make, we're dividing us up again, the same way Jewish, Christian, Muslim, you, you cannot divide us. We are here as starseeds, light workers, indigos, whatever, it doesn't matter, humans. Good humans with hearts that want their children to grow up safe, want to be healthy. Do you want to go and see a dentist or do you want to learn how to grow your own teeth back? The latter. Who created dentists and pain and drills and not God? That's torture. And it only makes more and more money for them. You need to go and create the world that you want. And today, after a huge amount of crying and a huge amount of breaking down and the ego and letting go and letting go and letting go and I've got life and it goes on and on and on. I'm not teaching you today. I'm teaching me. That's why I'm doing this. And I'm going to put it on as quickly as I can so that I can watch it. I'm teaching me. Looking at the imperfections and going out there and creating something better. What do you want? theater, a TV station, everything all in one place where you live. No one can ever evict you again because it's yours. We all belong together. We run it. We don't have the rules that everybody else has. A community of hair, <laughs> hair, our own rules, our own love, whatever. You don't have to be married. You don't have to be stuck with one person for the rest of your life you don't want to what if you have two husbands or two wives who cares as long as you're happy as long as you're not harming anyone they're the right age and you know and it's not against the law what law the law that they created we're talking about the law of love Adults, when they get to an age of being an adult, they can make their own choices. It's up to them. As long as you're not harming yourself and harming another, what's wrong with having two husbands or two, you know, one person cannot tick all your boxes. I'm laying it all out there. 
I know someone in Wales and she has two husbands or two men in her life. And, and you know, and together it ticks a lot of boxes. They get the love, the compassion, the other side that maybe one partner cannot provide. What difference does it make? As long as you're not harming yourself and another, and then you have your space to meditate, you have the beauty, you have your pets. No one can tell you no, 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 because it's yours. It's yours. As long as you have healthy boundaries of love and compassion, it, you can't harm anyone and you can't harm yourself. And this is coming from a huge amount of breakdowns again yesterday and a huge amount of compassion from, from my husband, who I'm apart from, separated from, who's, and we're happier. I'm from an app called Envision. I'm from codependency groups where you can find your higher power. And, and I am going, I'm focusing on what you do want. What, what do I want? I want to be happy, peaceful, and I want to be in a space where you can never be lonely again. Loneliness is not what you're meant to be. We're tribal. Yes, you're meant to be on your own to meditate, to take time out, to breathe. This is moving on TV. This is my station predominantly. Your station, if you come on and use it and you do things with it, but this is the thing I created in order to express, in order to create the dreams, in order to have a better life for myself because no one else would give it to me. That's what the program I've got live that I do at night, um, which will be done again on Saturday evening, um, 7.30 p.m. We've got Luke coming on to sing to us and I want you guys on there. Join us, bring your friends, realize your dreams. The awakening today is for Lauren, for me, for my inner child to play, my inner child to say what she always wanted, which is Dublin. What she lost when she was seven, my biggest pain. What is your biggest pain? Where are you at the moment? That's where I am. I'm in the loss of my childhood where I was taken from a beautiful Dublin to a, this, to a dreadful war in Israel and abuse and loneliness and lack of understanding of language, weather, losing everything and everyone. And guess what? I'm back there again. I'm on my own. And it's taking me all the way back. Everyone that abandoned me in this lockdown were Dublin. They were Ireland. They were what I loved. My accord, the accordion, the sense of belonging, the childhood that I lost, the playfulness, everything. And I can feel it, the beauty, the garden, the nature. What I lost in this lockdown, the friends, the social, the belonging, the community, the love, the everything has brought me to my knees to understand this is little Lauren, the seven-year-old, not Lauren, the adult. I am feeling everything, 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 everything. And I have to. That's what the ascension is. That's what the awakening is. You have to bring it all up. You have to bring up the biggest pain. If you are not bringing up the pain, you are not waking up. And I'm grateful to those that gave me the opportunity to feel seven years old again, but not the happy seven-year-old because she was happy when she was with you. So happy. But that seven-year-old that is in so much pain and torture, and you have to feel your own. The one that if I could wave a magic wand, I'd be back there seven years old in Ireland. You need to find that. What happened to you as a child that you want to fix now? What happened to you that if you could wave a magic wand, it would take you right back and you'd do it differently? You wouldn't go to Israel. There is no way. I'd scream at my parents and say, don't take me there. I'm writing my life story. Well, I haven't written it since the lockdown. I should get back. And in that story, I say, don't, please don't take me there. 
And that's what I'm working on. That's what's coming up now. I'm doing it on my own with a little bit of online groups, a lot of meditation and a lot of suffering, trying to eat, to do the, don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, too tired. And I bring you on. I welcome you to do the same. I love you. Live with your imperfections today. Bring up everything that needs to come up because if you want to ascend, I will know if you're ascending because you will be able to have me around you. I'm just going to end with this. My sister said to me years ago, I want inner peace. And she said, you have it on and off. Can you teach me? This is from the sister I never got on with. This is before the breakup. Anyway, she went to see a shaman. The shaman said to her, you will never have inner peace until you can hug your sister. Okay? So that's my message going out loud and clear. To anyone who cannot have me around them, you cannot ascend. I cannot ascend if I cannot have certain people around me or I cannot face certain situations, then I'm not ascending because it's still in there and it's not being dealt with. And that's my message to the people that are ascending. When you're ready to have me around you again, then I will believe what you teach me. Not from the point of view of the fact that you brought me to my knees and I'm learning and I am ascending and nothing, nothing, nothing will stop me. So I can be there to hold humanity when I need to in a couple of weeks from now, nothing. So yes, so thank you for bringing me to my knees and giving me the opportunity to hurt and to learn and to go back to being seven years old and feeling what that seven-year-old felt when she left Dublin. Thank you. Because my lessons, I get them. But to me, if someone cannot be around me, the same way as the sister said to me, I cannot hug you. I cannot hug you. And the shaman said, well, you'll never have inner peace because I look too much like mum. Now we're getting on a little bit better because a lot of that is gone. And I don't look like mum. And I don't behave like mum. I'm happy. In so many ways, I'm, I'm the opposite of my mother. I'm grateful. I'm happy. I do dancing. I do everything. Everything that mum didn't do. So, of course, my sister is not seeing mum in me as much. Do you understand what I mean? So that's my message to anyone. I don't know if, if people are watching those that have brought, brought me, those that have brought me to my knees. Thank you, because I am ascending and nothing will stop me. The chances are if I ascend, some of you will as well, if you're as connected to me as you are. But as I said, Taking that example of my sister, who is now able to be around me, because I do not project to her something she couldn't deal with. Go inside and figure out who is Lauren to me? Why am I scared of facing the feelings that she gives me? And let me teach you the same way as you teach me, because I love you. I love you all particularly those of you that have hurt me. I love you more than life itself. <laughs> I love you as much as I love that little seven-year-old that needs to heal. My imperfections are my temper or the temper that comes from that seven-year-old little one having a paddy because of being miserable. If you can't see beyond that, then you're not ascending. Okay, I'll leave it at that. I love you lots and take care. Bye.